and um, here's my audiences, and here is our custom audience. Somewhere here, data file, 2,700 people. Basically, out of the 3,700 subscribers, it couldn't find about 1,000 people. Sometimes people don't have Facebook. Um, sometimes they give you bad email. You know, it just, it just kind of depends. Um, it, there's nothing to worry about. I just go with it. There's our audience. We know it's created, and we will come back to that in a moment. Now, I need you to follow me very carefully because we're going to create a new ad. And the wrong way to do it is to go here and click Create Ads and start over with that. Okay, that's not where we want to be. We want to be in the Ad Manager. How do I know this? Because I've just did, I just did this and I got about two-thirds of the way done with it. And I realized I hadn't done it the right way. So what I do, I start it over. I've tried to film just a word about perseverance, guys. Okay, if you're getting frustrated with this. Uh, on Sunday morning, it's Tuesday. On Sunday morning, I discovered a leak. I have been dealing with the leak and the contractors who are in my house right now all morning while I am filming this three-part video series for you. If you're getting frustrated, don't. Just do what I say, okay? It's frustrating, trust me, I know. Audience insights, that's where we're gonna go. This is where we created our audience. And we need to, just click everyone on Facebook, we need to open Monica's audience, Monica's avatar audience. This is how you can create an ad using this audience. They will undoubtedly improve this because this is a dumb glitch in the way this whole thing works. But we click on Monica's avatar and we open it up. Now once we're in Monica's avatar, then we create our ad. And I just want to use the regular ad tool. I could use Power Editor. I'm not going to do that. Power Editor is more powerful, but again, this is simpler. And, and in this case, simple is good. We're running ads that are $5 a day. If I was spending $500 a day, I probably want to take a lot more time and care with these. But at five bucks a day, I'm willing to, you know, kind of test things and run things a little bit and not spend hours and hours learning how to use Power Editor. If you are a techie person, go for it. I feel like Monica Ward leads to the page. We're going to upload a couple of images, which are here somewhere. These two. These are images from um, another ad that I'm running, here it is, uh, on my like page. So this is, goes to the, uh, the Fit Club Network page. So I know this works. Uh, if you saw the video that I, that I filmed where I showed you the analysis of this ad, I know this thing works. So I'm basically just trying to run it to a different audience and not make any changes to it. So I use the same pictures, okay? And I just need to pick a Facebook page. I'm gonna use Monica's Facebook page. And then I'm just gonna copy what, what's working over here. Advanced options, make sure you include the news fees description. description. Click advanced options. All right. I like learn more here. I just think it's like, oh, and when they click learn more, it'll just take them, and pretty much all this just takes them to the same place. Something about this learn more button that is nice. It's a, like a friendly, oh, learn more here, you know? So this is what my ad's gonna look like on desktop. That's, that's the desktop newsfeed ad. Here's what it looks like on mobile. Don't use mobile if, you're, if your lead page is not mobile enabled. Okay, use a page from lead pages or wherever you're getting and creating your lead pages that is mobile enabled. That I highly recommend. You need to be enabling mobile. And um, if you're not, that might explain why your thing's not working so well because everybody's on their phone nowadays. I'm on my desktop, everybody's on their phone. Write column ads, I don't do. That's out. They look, they look like hell and um, I don't think anybody reads them. So I'm part of mobile app, same thing. If that changes, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I just do desktop and mobile. And what I'm noticing is like meal planning for you and you. That's meal planning for your family. Doesn't that look better? Meal planning for your family than for your family and yourself. This is such a minor change, but look at what it does in the mobile ad. Instead of meal planning for you and you, it says now meal planning for your family. Ooh, 
That's gonna get, that's gonna catch some eyes. It's so good, in fact. I'm gonna go back to this ad. I'm gonna change it, see how it looks. Meal planning for your family, that's just so much better. So it's these little things, guys, you know, little, little things that, um, that uh, you know, make big differences. Uh, they really do. So, you know, it's, again, it's just being a little careful, taking your time, don't be in a rush. You know, we're gonna get these things up. All right, now, I am already working in Monica's custom audience. The, the glitch is here, <laughs> where you can't add a custom audience from that because you have to be in this stupid, um, the stupid, uh, you know, audience thing for some reason. But anyway, this is the custom audience that I created with Monica. All of her little interests are here. You know, everything we kind of talked about, I created this audience. How many people? Audience is defined, it says. Okay, well, how many people? Okay, so estimated daily reach 2,100 to 5,200. This is an 11 million person audience. That's really big. So we're going to go in and we're going to um, trim that down a little bit. But first, I want to make sure to include my AWeber subscribers. And I've also created some lists. Now, now look, I get really specific with this. Watch this. Here's what it's doing right now. These are people who visited a web page on our site that's about the 21 day fix meal plan. The, this is a list of all of my customers from Team Beachbody, which basically I did the same thing I did with AWeber. I just went into my customer list and I exported it to a CSV file and I uploaded it as a custom audience. I would suggest you do that. Look how specific it is now, why? Because um, it's too limited. My, my potential reach is only 1,320 people. So I might still run this ad but it's not, it's not really a great ad for me, <laughs> all right? It's really not a great ad for me. Um, and Monica's avatar just isn't specific enough. So I'm actually gonna take these out because all they do is, so my Aweber subscribers, see it's only sending it to a thousand people. There's only a thousand people on my Aweber list that meet this description. So that is out. So we have to start looking for some more demographics that we're gonna use to to um, to pin this down a little bit. And I am gonna go to income. I don't usually do that, but I am gonna go to income and I'm just gonna pick these four and see what happens. Hmm. So that didn't work, it doesn't like that. Let's try. See, and this isn't me now, I'm, I'm building this audience further. See how that changed when I added high school? Watch this. Whoops. Hey, where'd you go? No, there it is. Look how the audience goes from specific to broad. It changed when I added all that stuff. Okay, we're down to six million now. So now we're cooking with fire, you know? And that's fine, college degree, associate's degree, doctorate, you know, it's including all those people. I don't think it's just saying like, let's see what it does if I take doctorate out. Yeah, same thing. Relationship. Let's see what happens if I include homeowners. Cut it in half. Kind of like that. Okay, kind of like that. Again, I'm looking for people that have, you know, not a boatload of money by any means, but enough money to afford Shakeology where I'm not going to have to argue with them about it. How about all parents? Parents, all parents. Uncheck that somehow. Ah, here we go. How do they know whether you've got kids that are these ages? Because of the stuff you buy. 
They pair up with the major data collection agencies and they look, who's buying diapers? They have a zero to three year old kid. And those agencies combine together and they collect all kinds of data on you about how much money you make and everything else. So we're at 2.2 million. That's, that's a little bit broad, but I'm gonna run with it and, and watch and see what happens. And if, it, if this gets out of control cost-wise, I'll just shut it down. And again, I'm, I'm limited to five bucks a day, so it's kind of like not that big of a deal, you know? Optimize for web website clicks. I want to optimize for clicks. I want to manually set my bid. All right, so again, let's run through that again. Bidding and pricing, optimize for clicks. Manually set, okay? If you automatically optimize it, they're gonna give you the number that they like. So they give you a range, 13 cents to 33 cents. Um, yeah, I mean, 13 cents to 33 cents, I guess. That's right in the middle. And you know, when I go back and I look at this ad, which is what this is all based on, I'm basically paying 20 cents a click. So I'll go with their recommendation. I'm gonna go with their recommendation. Let me just make sure everything else is set. Ad set name is seven day meal plan. Number one. Why number one? Because there might be a number two. This thing really starts cranking and I'm getting good with it. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna increase the amount of money that I'm spending. I'm gonna start running ads at different groups of people. If it works with this group, it might work with other groups and let's get people in here. I might even start to brand this thing for me. If I start to see that guys are reacting well to it, I'll come back, I'll take everything I gave you guys and I'll just brand it for me. All right, so I'm just doing a little double check in here, making sure everything looks clean for some of my hands. And again, you can edit this really easily, right? Column off, mobile app off, USA and Canada, 32 to 50 women, married homeowners. Hopefully you can see, this is pretty specific, guys. Like, I think you guys are a little too afraid to, to get too specific as far as like, well, the biggest loser and the voice, well, ah, don't. Put, figure out what you like and add that in. And you can get into behaviors, there's a lot, I mean, look at this stuff. Look at all the stuff that you could do in here. I mean, it's crazy. It's, it's really crazy, the stuff that you can, that you can track. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna name, rename this. Daniel Plan. That's my campaign. This is my ad set in the campaign. Optimized for clicks, 23 cents a day, limited to $5 a day. Boom, our order is placed. This should take them not very long to review because they've already reviewed those graphics, so they should be in love with them. I will go in here and, uh, yeah, I guess I don't really need to change that, but this is it. This is it. We are now, well, once they, once they complete the review of these, we are in business. We're running ads. And so I'll be back and I'll be checking these and I'll let you guys know how all that goes.